Hey crafters! Today I need to do something that I've really been pushing off for a long time. It's time for me to get rid of my old drills. I've been keeping them in storage boxes and containers thinking that maybe one day if a drill pops off a canvas then I would have another one to put it back in. But as you can see I have a lot of different storage containers that are full and they're taking up space. I need to start kitting up this villain's ensemble painting and it was either I get rid of these old drills or I go and buy more drill storage and it just didn't make sense. It's something I got to completely let go of. So I don't know if you guys are like me, but when I first started diamond painting, I went out and bought a lot of things I thought were essential. My craft mates kit, and my, I always say this wrong, but this organizing system are wonderful. I really like them. But then I also started buying accessories that have these little kits and collecting and collecting and collecting. And I realized I don't need this. I don't need to save my old drills. I need one container that has the drills I'm currently working with. And usually it's these small ones. Um, if I'm doing two projects at the same time, I'll also use this. Um, I like both of these because if I ever get the chance to craft outside of the house or with friends, I can easily take them. But I don't need any more than this. To kit this ensemble painting, this villain's ensemble, I gotta get rid of drills and it's time. So I found this really nice jar. It's actually from a friend, she gave me some pickled radishes. I really like pickles and vinegar and super yummy stuff. And I need to give it back to her, but I thought this could be my temporary storage for the drills. Worst case, if a drill pops off of one of the paintings I've completed, I'll just look through here and find a close color and pop it up. I'm not gonna look for the very specific DMC number and try and correct it that way. So there's no reason for me to keep all of this. And I also thought if I had something nice, it was filled up, it would be decorative and colorful and something really cute that I could just have in my crafting space. So ah, I'm still, just, I'm just talking because I'm so nervous about this. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Um, get the start. Still smells like vinegar and pickled radishes. So I'm not gonna show you me dumping every single one because then that would be kind of a long video without me talking, but I'm gonna get a start on this and then kit up the next one. So crafters, if you're like me, if you've got all this storage and you realize I need to let go of these old drills, hopefully I can motivate you to do the same. <laughs> I just, uh, I realized it's, it's time, they gotta go. Oh, all my little fabric softener sheets that are in here. This painting had a lot of static drills. So every single one of these little cases has a fabric softener sheet. I mean, if I were to keep any of them, the Princess Ensemble Heartful Diamonds one were really vibrant. I use that word all the time. They were vibrant, beautiful drills. Those might be the ones that I kept keep together, but they're also very easy to pick out. Oh, and another thing, as I started to save my drills, different paintings would have different color drills for the DMC, be the same DMC, and they'd be slightly off. And then I'd be putting them all together and realized this doesn't even make sense for me to save them because at this point, I wouldn't remember which one I thought was the actual right DMC. And I'd always be trying to match them up to the painting and it's just another step that I don't need. Oh, so this one has a plastic DMC number and that one. Okay, so even just doing three rows 
I think that's really pretty. These blues and purples. This is from one of the paintings that I started for my daughter because she really liked blues and purples. It was a small one. It's actually back there. It was a 40 by 30. And then it ended up taking me more than a year because I just had to put it away and stop and come back to it. So all of these are gonna be blues and purples and they'll be really pretty. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you me dumping out probably hundreds of different drill DMCs, but at the end, stick around, I'll show you the jar and how nice it looks. There it is, it's done. Josh. All the drills from my past completed diamond paintings. The darker colors are showing up a lot on here. Yet I have a lot of really pretty vibrant greens. I wonder why they're not picking up as much. And I like this because it looks like sand art, but the realization is eventually it's gonna get mixed up. I am gonna transfer this into another jar. So it'll all get kind of mixed into a rainbow. And as I was sitting here emptying all this stuff out, I was trying to think about what would I do with these drills? For now, I wanna keep them in like a jar or a display or something. I might go to a, a one euro, two euro shop and try and find a jar or something with a lid that I can put this in. I'll keep it in my craft room on a shelf. It's like a really nice display, but I also thought about using the drills for slime. My kids could put it in some slime or I work in a school and crafting some like sensory jars and putting this and liquid and glitter all in and the kids could shake them up and play with them. So uh, the, the great thing about this is I have my storage back. So I'm gonna put all this back, organize it. Um, I'm gonna take the stickers off, put new stickers on and be able to kit up my villains painting. And then I can keep using these moving forward. I can hold on to drills for a couple months, for a year after I finish the painting, but honestly, I can't hold on to drills for years and years and years anymore. It's just not something that I wanna have the space for, the space to make, but I'm excited about this. I feel like I've been wanting to do this for a long time and it's done. No turning back now. If you end up doing the same, kind of purging your drills, let me know, crafters, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, crafters.